everyone and welcome to Strixhaven Chaos, the first episode in an eight-part mini-series that we're going to be doing here on Demi Plains Twitch channel. I am really, really thrilled to be reunited with so many friends here this evening, and we are going to get around the table to introduce everyone. Uh, hopefully, if, if you don't know us, if this is your first time, you are ready to strap in for lots and lots of fun, lots and lots of chaos, because that is apparently what we are known for. And so I can't wait to see what happens when we go back to school here tonight. So a couple of shout outs. We do have an incredible sponsor here tonight, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Oh, you can find a uh, an Electrum chest code on the screen. I'm sure it's also been plastered in chat since we've had some technical difficulties getting off the ground today. Uh, so hopefully you got your code if you came here for this. If you came here for the code, then stick around and stay a while and, and ch check out what's going on. If you're curious about magical schools and uh, curriculums of chaos and everything else, that is what is going to happen over the next eight weeks. Just to let everybody know, we do have uh, a long-term campaign follow-up planned for this. So we're not going to be eight and out or anything. Uh, we are going to share more uh, very exciting news about that long-term campaign over the next few weeks. But for now, we are going to go to this semester and possibly a few semesters. We're going to say, I think we're going to cover some ground here in this uh, eight-part mini-series. But without further ado, I am going to turn it over right now to the players to be able to introduce themselves. And I think we're just doing character names for tonight. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to meet the characters when we actually start playing. And I will wrap up uh, with B. Dave and let him take over the reign. So let's start. Hope, you go ahead and go. Is this just like a V introduction or is this just? Yeah, this is a U introduction. Am I, inter am I introducing yeah, introduce like? Introduce yourself. And then I think all we're allowed to say because our uh, dungeon master has told us the only thing we can say is just the character name. So don't say anything about the character, but talk all you want to about <laughs> hope. Ooh, uh, hope little. is one of my favorite subjects, honestly. I mean, but you just. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. I'm Hope Lavelle. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. If you like D and D stuff, uh, I post a lot of D and D stuff. And um, let's see what about me. Okay, uh, I am a motion capture performer by day and D and D enthusiast by night and day. And today I will be playing Impa Gravestone. Awesome, Lauren. Lovely. I am Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator for Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I feel like this is my first test at school and I'm surprisingly nervous. You can find me on Twitter as Obolorin. You can find me doing lots of streams, lots of places, follow me on Twitter. That's probably the best way to find out what I'm doing. And I'm playing Malinke Karmanek. Gazoon tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gods bless you. Um, all right. And Jen, what about you? I am Jen Kretschmer. I am an author, actor, producer, and, uh, one of the authors on Candlekeep Mysteries. I have written for Starfinder and Haunted West. I am the creator of the Accessibility and Gaming Resource Guide. Um, and you can find me on Twitter as at DreamWisp. Uh, you can find me streaming on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen and around the interwebs. And today I will be playing uh, Temaniko Nico Flox. And I am Adam Bradford. I'm the Chief Development Officer at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at BadEyeAdam. And today I am going to be playing Theo Flux. And yes, I am, oh, I'm not supposed to say any of that. I won't get into <laughs> any of that at this point. And turning it over to you, B-Dave. Could be a completely unrelated Flux. You know, Everyone's you named know. Flux these days. True. Who's <laughs> among us? It's the it's Smith of, of Strixhaven. It is the, it is now, <laughs> canonically. We said it on, on the internet. You have to uh, give your middle initial because they give the first initial. There are too many people with that same first initial flocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's all of us have been through college registration. We know what this is. Yeah, it's uh, uh, I will say before we get into this, when I finally graduated college, I had nightmares for months that I'd missed registration for the next season. Like, <laughs> like wake up thinking I was supposed to be somewhere. So, hey, mm. we're going back into all I of had, that. I had nightmares they tried to come take my degree. Back. I had that, I had that, I had that, I had that, that bad dream too, that they were like, mm -hmm. oh, we made a mistake. You didn't yep. graduate after all. So, <laughs> so, so really actually like be that guy, 
but with- both of those things actually happened to me <laughs> and it wasn't a dream like I, I missed registration one of the semesters and then they did come back and say that they were going to take my degree until I like had to pull up some records and show them that I actually had graduated oh so, my gosh yeah it was it was it was a nightmare so that's I, when we're- I, I hate school I don't know why I'm here <laughs> When, when, when we do the Ravenloft version of this campaign, that's, that is what it's going to be about. So yes, hello and welcome to episode one, Schools in Session. Um, again, apologies for the, for the techno hijinks that got us a little bit delayed here. But again, it wouldn't be in episode one without some chaos. In chaos is literally in the name of the show. Uh, if you have been watching some of our previous series, uh, the Wild Magic Surges will still be here when someone rolls a one or a twenty. Uh, I uh, Strixhaven has some unique um, mechanics that we will draw on at times, uh, but probably not too heavily. But there is only one house rule that we play with that a one always fails and a twenty always succeeds, even on skill checks. So you can crit on skill checks can crit fail on skill checks. Um, if you are not familiar with it, Strixhaven, this is the deluxe edition because I'm extra, I is, a, back there. Uh, is a campaign setting slash adventure that was published recently uh, where you all are students at a magical school. Uh, pl- people are here from all over the planes of existence. Strixhaven itself exists in a nexus uh, between the planes and the world. So you can find beings of all shapes, sizes in manner at this place, all united by a common love of knowledge and the magical arts. Uh, The college primarily, uh, well, Strixhaven is actually compromised uh, or that's not the word I'm looking for, composed of, yes, comprised, that's it, exactly, (laughs) composed of five uh, individual colleges, which is Lorehold, which explores the past and preserves its lessons for future generations. It is also called the College of Archaeomancy. There is Prismari, which uses the elements to practice the arts. They are also called the College of the Elemental Arts. Quandrix, which focuses on the mathematics of nature, also called the College of Neuromancy. Silver Quill, which teaches the magic of rhetoric, poetry, and oration and writing. It is also called the College of Eloquence. And Witherbloom uh, harnesses the forces of life and death, also called the College of Essence Studies. In time, each of our young students will have the opportunity to decide which one of these colleges they're going to join and which path they are going to go down. However, that is not today. Today, is orientation. Majestic marble archways, tomes seemingly stacked for miles, and the infectious energy of hundreds of young adults fill the biblioplex, the grand library at the heart of Strixhaven University. The sights, sounds, and sparks of magic in the air are wondrous. Your acceptance letter stated that you must report to the biblioplex's hall of oracles to receive instruction on new student orientation. The hall sits at the center of the biblioplex's first floor, and you can already see students gathering there. All of you have made your way to school for day one and your first time on campus. Tell us, what is Impa doing as she's making her way towards the biblioplex at the center of the Strixhaven campus? No, I don't think I'll get lost. No, no, you don't have to help me around. It's fine. Now stop talking to me because people think I'm talking to myself and that looks weird. Okay, let me just find my way. Okay, I am a little lost. Will you help me? So as she walks, she's just speaking to seemingly nothing. What does Impa look like? Impa is a Luxodon. Very tall, very big. She is the elephant in the room, uh, but she has a very timid energy about her, almost as if she's afraid to step on a mouse. And that is how she appears. How is she dressed as literally an elephant person? (laughs) Well, I suppose, do we have our school uniforms yet? Are there school uniforms in this universe? 
if there are various uniforms and college colors, I mean, would, would she basically be trying to, with the, the, the strict Haven freshman garb, essentially? <laughs> um, I think uh, if if we haven't yet donned our, our school uniforms and uh, Impa is wearing uh, purple robes, and these tiny little spectacles, these little glasses that sit on her trunk that uh, seemingly just uh, sit there with magic. <laughs> Mal, as you see this Luxodon seemingly having an argument with nothing, uh, alternatively shooing, but actually kind of asking for at least a little bit of assistance, um, what is Mal doing during this? Oh, does she look like an easy mock? Because, like, she's distracted. She probably looks like an easy mock, doesn't she? She looks a little bit like an easy mark, yeah. Especially because she keeps checking her pockets to make sure her belongings are there, you know? All right, risky, but, you know, uh, it's, been, it's been a couple of days since I put the old talents to work, so we can, we, maybe this is how you're supposed to meet people here. I don't know. Uh, Mal is a tiny little owlin, an owl person walking along, not flying just yet, because it seems like most everybody here is walking. So he's trying to remain as inconspicuous as you can be. Uh, he is a reddish brown owl with feathers around his face that are kind of sticking in odd directions. They don't actually lay down flat. And he is not yet in a school uniform. He is still in his pieced together leathers and his satchel and is is definitely keeping an eye on everything. And he doesn't have the wide eyes of someone who is entranced because, it, you know, the cage is bigger than this, but you know, it's all newer. This is kind of nice. Uh, oh, this is impressive. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Okay, all right. Well, hey, no, watch it, watch it. Jeez, people. So yeah, I'd like to uh, sidle up to this giant loxodon and see what she has in her pockets. <laughs> and with that, let us have the first two rolls of the game of sleight of hand from Mel and perception from Impa to see if she notices. You know what? I have an advantage on perception if I can <laughs> smell. So I'm just throwing that out there. I'm going to go ahead and say it will apply. All right. <laughs> I got a 17 on my sleight of hand. Uh, 17 on my perception. <laughs> I'm going to say, Mal, you successfully take something from Impa, but Impa, you're very aware that he did it. So <laughs> that's actually uh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually perfect. Cause I imagine he takes it and then he, he's like, oh, I'm supposed to be doing better than this. No, I'm supposed to be learning not to do this. So like, that's, he takes it and then he's just standing there holding whatever it is. <laughs> what Impa, am I taking? <laughs> Impa, what's a, what's a little something that you would have had on you that he could have like pretty easily slipped out of a pocket? A magnifying glass. Oh, wow. This is, this is super cool. Hey, um, you dropped this right into my hand. I don't even know what it is, but it's super cool. What is it? Oh, um, I'm sorry. It's a magnifying glass. I know it's quite big because I I'm quite big. Um, I hope it didn't squish you. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Here you go. Uh, but a oh. little bit of a headache trying to look through that thing. But Thank hey, you. hey, I'm Mal. Malinka Kamenek. How, how you doing? I'm very good. Thank you. Um... We don't have to talk if you don't want to. Well, I, I mean, I had your magnifying glass and I give it back to you. So, you know, right. we're talking now. That's that's how this works, right? Right. Yeah, right. there we yes. go. Hey, I nice so. to meet you. Are we heading towards the big place right over here? Yes, yes, All right. I, I was. Are you too? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go do classes and things. Okay. Gotta learn right. how to do all magic stuff, right? Yes, I, I hope so. Well, it's a magic school, right? That's where you learn magic, right? Are hey? you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm great. No, this place is great. I haven't been out of the cage in forever. And like, this is amazing. When are we going to find out where our kip is? Or what? Uh, where we're staying. Where we're supposed to, we're supposed to get like place to stay. Oh, um, I, I know as much as you really, um, except for Alfred here. He tells me things, um, sometimes, um, I mean, no one's here. I, I mean, yeah, Alfred's here. I, I'm trying not to be weird. 
well, that's okay. Everybody here is kind of a little weird. So that's fine. I look at whoever is next to Impa and I say, hey, Alfred, how you doing? Oh. Actually, Alfred's over here. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hey, Alfred, how you doing? He says you shouldn't steal things. I didn't steal anything. It just ended up in my claws. That's all. Right. I gave it back to you, right? You're very weird. Well, thank you. You both hear the ground shake a little. And you turn and you see a loxodon that is actually significantly larger than Impa. Uh, they have filed down tusks with gold caps and they are wearing very ornate gold plate armor. Hello, cousin. I mean, I think he's talking to you. I, I've uh, got a bunch of cousins, but I'm pretty sure one of them assume. isn't one of you. No, no, yes, I mean, that's, no. that's good. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know. It's weird people around here, but no, no, this one ain't mine. I think this is yours, or maybe it's Alfred's. Alfred's, this yours? Um, hello. Who's Alfred? Oh, um, he's just a spirit that likes to wander the halls, and he was he was helping me find my way, and I'm sorry. I, 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 do I know him? Do I know this? <laughs> Person um, who called me cousin? No, no, this is, um, well, actually, you know, <laughs> give me just a wisdom check, not a save, just a check. Okay. Uh, because this is a very fancily dressed Loxodon. This is a so nine. You heard about some well-to-do upper crust Loxes that might be here this semester, but um, when they were trying to tell you the details, Alfred was sort of yelling in your ear and it made it very difficult to concentrate. And so you didn't quite put together all of the details maybe. So these would be students as well? Yes, this oh. is definitely another student. Okay. Oh, Alfred, I, uh, you always get in the way of things. Um, Hello, Um, hello, hi. Uh, I, I, I've heard things about you, hello, my name's Impa. Ah, uh, yes, I thought it was you. And he extends his trunk in a very formal Loxodon greeting. Ah, and Impa knows this very well and, and reciprocates. And he stops and turns, he's about to extend his trunk to you, Mal. And he says, uh, apologies, my name is Rampart. Oh, hi, yeah, Malinky Kamenik, nice to meet you. You can call me Mal, everybody does, because no one can seem to wrap the tongue around the entire name. Uh, although uh, you got kind of a, a trunk and a half, so maybe you can, I don't know. My actual name doesn't really translate either. Um, In fact, it's, and he looks at you, Impa, and just <laughs> rumbles, which you know they're saying their name is Bedum. Mal, you could not duplicate this sound. Ah, uh, that's, a, that's a neat feeling in my tummy, though. Could you do that again? <laughs> I haven't had that happen in a yes. while. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. And... It does sort of radiate outwards from him. Theo, what is Theo doing as you're approaching uh, the orientation? Probably, uh, pr probably uh, very close to wherever Rampart is uh, making this exchange. Uh, Theo is uh, just walking around talking to himself as well, uh, but, but he uh, is not trying to talk to himself. So he's... Uh, uh, Pardon me, pardon me, uh, pardon me. And everyone is just whizzing past him and no one is paying attention to him. And he's a giant Leonin, uh, very, very large, but never has anyone this large looked this uh, less imposing. Uh, and so he, he slouches, he has pretty bad posture. He is wearing a uh, blue and gold and white robe that looks like it, um, you know, no one is going to really recognize the style, but he has meticulously researched what some of the original founders of Strixhaven would have worn uh, to, to an orientation. And so he has uh, tried to, to mimic this and he's actually sewn this himself. And, and so, you know, in his mind, he's very, very proud of, of how he looks. He has kind of like a floppy hat and uh, he's, he's peering above some spectacles. Um, and, uh, and so he looks like his mother might be very, very proud of him, but uh, possibly no one else. 
and uh, and so he he just kind of uh, since Rampart is so large, uh, pardon me, I uh, I wondered if I could trouble you to tell me which way orientation lies. Theo, even as you're approaching him, you hear this um, satisfying rumble that comes out from him too, which uh, Loxodon and Leodin is very different. But the the idea of this sort of like vibrational expression is not so foreign to you. It actually feels just the tiniest bit like a little taste of home. And he turns... Mm-hmm. And that makes me gravitate towards him all the more because everyone else that is much smaller, that's kind of scuttering about completely ignoring Theo. And so he's like, this person might not ignore me. He, they do turn and look right at you. And they, mm, ah, a fearsome lion and warrior. Li- oh. Lion and, no, Le- Leo, Leonin, Le- wait, I've, I've lost it. It doesn't. Uh, it, it, it's Leonin, but uh, I assure Le- you. Leonin. I, I am nothing fearsome. Um, Le- I, Le- I am trying not to cause any trouble. Le- I would like to just find my classes. I have signed up. I believe I have signed up for five this year, but they have told me that I can only sign up for three. And I tried to speak to the dean about this, but they were not budging on their stance and I have much to learn in the time that I'm here and so I I would like to take the five classes and I'm sure that you probably know someone inside the academic halls that and the leadership that could probably uh state my case and um why are you looking at me like you're that? saying a number of words uh y- yes 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 no See, the warrior's mind must be clear as a lake. Oh, I am not a warrior. I assure you, I am not a warrior. I, and he does turn and look at all three of you, says, I am studying to be a great general when I graduate. I have an extensive knowledge of tactics. Have have any of you considered joining the Dragon Chess Club? Uh, Is it filled with real dragons? No, in 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 perhaps Theo, but um, to be determined, I suppose. <laughs> mm, mm. Yes, I, I was on my way to orientation as well. Perhaps we could all go together. Oh yeah, we're all heading in that direction because, like, look around. We're all just going in that direction because I think that's where we're supposed to go. Like, just follow the crowd. Just like it's... go with the waves. See what we're doing. We're gonna get over there. It's gonna be fine. What was your name again? Uh, hi, I I am Theo. Flocks, and it is a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, hi, Maliki Kamenek. Nice to meet you. I'm here to go do like uh, performance things. Uh, uh, and and who who are you? I, I heard this one say his name was Rampart, but who are you? Uh, are you talking to me? I, I I am. I don't believe anyone else is still enough to be standing close enough to hear my voice. Right, um, well, my name is Impa, Impa Gravestone, and I think I know you. I've heard of you, right, Theo? You were once trained as a warrior, weren't you? It I mean, is you don't him. look like a warrior, but I heard you've, like... G- yes! Oh, g- yes! Oh, please, we must become the greatest of friends, Theo. And he sort of, they clap you on the arm with a blow that rocks you slightly, but would have easily leveled most people. Like, mm, 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 Impa, we are in the presence of greatness. Uh, Theo I, I, I do not believe, I do not believe that uh, you have the right, right person. Um, I, uh, I, I might have once trained in my younger days, but I assure you all of that is behind me and I remember nothing of it, it is best not to speak of it. You're not the only flocks here. Uh, no, the, my uh, my sister is somewhere. Oh, Nico, no, I have lost her. Where is Nico during all of this? As Nico is of hundreds of students are making their way towards the biblioplex of every imaginable shape, size, and composition. So Nico is already in her uniform. Uh, Nico's uniform is a black leather jacket, uh, black pants. Her uh, belt is studded, but instead of metal studs, it's wooden studs. Um, She has a a sweep of 
uh, like a berry, like a dark maroon hair that that sweeps out into a bright, vibrant purple. And she has these moon silver eyes. Um, she is a herringon and she is very, very small. She's just over three feet tall, but has these tall ears with a bunch of piercings on them. Um, she has a bunch of piercings just in general. Um, and and Nico is a uh, in her uniform, um, the the first the uniform of first years, which is the black, gray, and white, um, in a kind of a, a gray shirt, tie, and and sort of is already leaning up against the biblioplex, waiting, just watching everyone go by. As you all are uh, uh, approaching, and you see this scene, Rampart looks very down at Nico and then across at Theo and then down hey. at Nico and across at Theo and hey, says, Hey, how you doing? You all have a beautiful family. Thanks. That is one of the nicest things anyone has said to me since I arrived here. Um, actually, it's, it's one of the only things anyone has actually said to me. Well, that's because you're wearing old robes, Theo. You gotta go change into clothes that are from this century. Maybe even the, this millennium. This is tradition. It's it's classical. Uh, I'm sure it will uh, gain much favor with the instructors. I mean, I guess what's old is new again, so make it your mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It, it, uh, Impa, you must notice our ancestral loxodon ceremonial finery. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, through much of history have we worn these things. <clears throat> I, I just settled for a much more, um, um, less noticeable robes. And at this point, Mal puffs out his chest and all of his feathers in his kind of tattered armor and says, Oh yeah, and I'm wearing the ceremonial robes of uh, those of us who come from Sigil and are trying not to get, you know, shanked in the middle of the night, see? You mm. come from the city of gates? Doors, doors, Do yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not certain that's correct. I believe I read that it was gates. I mean, come well, on. He's are from you, there though, Are you so certain? I yeah, I mean, some of the doors have gates on them. You can have doors with gates, and there can be gates with doors. But the city of doors, because it's the doors you got to watch out for. The last thing Let you want to do, you us know. agree to disagree. You can both bar a door and bar a gate. Perhaps you're both correct. Listen, uh, if you want to be clueless like that, it's fine. But listen, it's it's the city of doors. You got to get it right. Maybe I'll show you sometime. I'll, you know, and I could like show you around. I'm sure we're gonna get like vacation time or something, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit no. of time off or something. We'll go We're back. We're here to study. We're here so, to learn. That does not include so, vacation time. Impa, Mal. I'm sorry, what was your name? Rampart. Rampart. And he's Theo, but you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we go way back. Uh, that, ho that whole <laughs> growing up together thing. Um, why don't we go? Because we've been here talking a while. I'd like to see the orientation. I don't know about you, but I'm I, I, I'm here to learn and study, yes, and um, we've yes. been just, just just wait right here, friends. I'll run ahead and see which auditorium we're directed to. I shall be back forthwith. Oh, and he very much starts jogging away into the into the bibliotheque. There's more than one auditorium. This place is very big. Says Alfred. Says he's walked the whole thing at least three times in his Who death. Who is Alfred, may I ask? Oh, Alfred is an old student of here. He fell down the crevice of Law Hall, and and has never left. Uh, oh, oh, Alfred. Yes. Uh, Alfred speaks to you. Well. I mean, yes, of, of course, because I'm the only one who will speak to him, which really is, is quite annoying sometimes. Yes, Alfred, I understand. Alfred says we can't miss orientation. He's seen it at least three or four times and he says it's very good. I agree. Alfred, it is very nice to meet you. Alfred's over here. Uh, he did the same Alfred. thing, worry about Why? it. Is it there is anything nice to, to indicate a, anyone there? Like looking at the ground, the dust on the ground, the, the way the winds are moving around. No. Nope. Nothing. In fact, give me a perception check. Oh, 
Oh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> okay. Hey, first there one of the campaign. Yes. 25. First Cheers. one. First med natural 20. First uh, uh, wild magic surge. First all of the above. You notice two things, Nico. One, there's literally nothing there. Uh, you're aware there are things that are invisible in this world that exist, uh, but, but there is nothing. But you notice something more disturbing. His Impa is standing kind of near the wall here of the biblioplex. You see little orange globs of something are kind of dripping onto her shoulder. And there's bits and pieces of books and scroll in tattered paper that's kind of like uh, and I'm I'm sorry, uh Impa. I, you know, I know we don't know each other very well, but you you got a little um a little uh, right on you your thing. I have a chip on my shoulder because I don't. No, 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 no. It's uh it's more um it's more like a slime. Viscous? What? What? And like Impa has her like she can't really look that way, so she like uses her trunk to like tap her shoulder. Is you tap this goo, it kind of stings. And adding on to that natural 20, Nico, is you sort of like kind of crane your head up a little bit and up the wall. Out of the window, you see an orangish mass is oozing out and just lets go and is about to descend on her head. And all of you roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Already. Already. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> it's a, we already saw. Well, that I got was, good. That I was got, another. That was another natural twenty. <laughs> Whoa! Nico is just an assassin. You know, I don't know you, 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 you Do suck. I have to reroll this character. No, no, nope. <laughs> no. Be no. good. Allow allow yourself to be good at something. It is fine. Uh, well, I mean, that was initiative. It's not a. <laughs> still, it's, it's it, your it first still two rolls have been twenty. That's hey, I'll, 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 I'll take a twenty on initiative every time. All right. The so only thing be... you've ever rolled with this character is a twenty. It's true. There it is. <laughs> hey, retire, that... retire now. Go home. Yes. Don't join, don't... <laughs> be done. Well, yeah. D don't, dive don't straight into whatever's coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm just right under it. <laughs> if I gotta go out, I'll go exactly. out and swing it. <laughs> uh, Impa initiative. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, Theo. Uh, oh, where was I? Sorry. Uh, I can't even find my name well, on this well, log well, anymore. While uh, you're getting it for me, Mal. Twelve. Sixteen. 12, 16. I got good news for you. The monster rolled a one. <laughs> so this, um, all of you just give me a quick survival roll to see if you even know what this is. I have advantage on that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a 16. Nine. I also 16, got a 16. 16. 17. 17. Uh, Theo, it, you're being attacked by pudding. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, the, the rest of you are aware of the fact um, that there are predatory jellies and oozes in the world. Uh, their color usually gives you some insight into what kind it is, although none of you necessarily know that much. Uh, but you're aware that it is just pretty mindless and all-consuming. And as you look at it, it's got coming down the wall um, with plenty of warning from Nico and not a lot of stealth or haste on its side. It's got bits and pieces of books, scrolls, broken furniture. It's just like it is just swept through a room and consumed everything and kind of rolled out the window because it pretty much felt you all were nearby. Uh, however, Nico, it is your turn as it's coming down the wall. So looking at this creature, I am thinking that it moves sort of with the patterns of something uh, like a crescent dune or or um, a, a liquid, th that sort of motion um, that I would expect. How, how big is this thing? About the size of a person. Okay. Um, yeah. Is it's there- It's difficult to tell because it's all stretchy and blotchy, but you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything uh, nearby that 
looks like a, a flat thing that could stop it almost to work as an umbrella over Impa? Um, yeah, although it's moving Actually, pretty slowly. You think she probably can, will have time to get out from under it before it gets here. It's, it's, all, I mean, it's on the way, but it's... First of yeah. all, Impa, you might want to move out of the way there because, uh, yeah, move fast. This is uh, a this is a fast move time. Uh, Impa, Impa, do you share with the others that it physically hurts to touch this thing? It doesn't hurt you badly because it's just little blobs, but it's it's painful to touch. Uh, Impa does not like say it out loud, but it's kind of <laughs> like she touches it and she's like, oh, oh, that that kind of burns, but it's not it's not in her right mind to like say it to everybody. Right, she doesn't really know how to talk to people. Got it. Got it, got it. Yes, Nico, please continue, sorry. So was there any, uh, I mean, I wanna keep it from going and landing on anybody. Is there a teacher around? <laughs> like, you know, I, honestly, this is, it's a school, it's orientation day. You'd think they'd have someone, some staff. There's people everywhere, but so far it is, nobody seems to notice. People are coming in and out of the biblioplex. It's so watching does, this seem thing, to be raising any alarms. Watching this thing, I'm gonna go, I am going to, cast fairy fire to light it up mm -hmm. and say hey does anyone know what's going on here there's a thing coming out of the window and it's weird i don't you, you see the other students that are kind of to go like hmm? 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 Ah! it starts scattering in all directions everybody except the four of you start to panic half of them are running into the building half of them are running away from the building but it is glowing and lit up with a uh, wax i guess technically so my let's, fairy make, let's fire, see if it's gonna it's glowing fairy, and lit up from your fairy fire <laughs> my fairy fire um looks like um hang on i actually wrote this down uh there's um I can't find it. Uh, it it's it's working in the uh, in, in the format spiral at, in the golden ratio. So it spirals out in that and then it sort of shatters into fractals all over the area. So everything just kind of bursts into these shapes, almost like snowflakes where the edges are the same shape but smaller and smaller and smaller until it's lit up in that mm -hmm. whole area. Excellent. Uh, it looks just like that. And you can make out that this is sort of, um, it's almost like an orangish or dirty brown color as it's coming down the wall. Uh, anything else from Nika? Uh, that will be it for the moment. I mean, I, I'm not Perfect. in the line of... No. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Impa, it is right over you and heading, heading down. Impa just kind of like, like kind of cowers in on herself and she goes, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm barely even a student. What am I doing? And she's going to, um, in reaction, she's going to cast Shield of Faith on herself. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and then and then she's going to, like, stumble backwards. And then she's going to she's gonna turn and she's going to say, Oh, now you tell me to duck, Alfred. It's a little bit late for that. <laughs> Goodness. And then she's going to uh, freak out and she's going to cast False Life on herself. I just don't want to get hit. I don't want to do this right now. Two questions. First, when her shield of faith springs into existence, what does it look like? It looks like an iridescent shimmer just over the body. It, it's almost like form fitting. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, yeah, and it just kind of shimmers like as if she's got like a bubble on her. Second question. Now there's a third question, actually. Second question. What does it look like when the false life takes effect? <laughs> um... <laughs> You see a, uh, in this instance, it's going to look like a little umbrella, like a little pop of a yellow umbrella that pops over and gives her the extra, you know, hit points because it's going to hit the umbrella. Last question, and I apologize because you may have said this. Does Impa have hair? Like, what's her hair look like? <laughs> Impa does not have hair. She's a pure <laughs> elephant person, nice and bald. All she wears is spectacles. That's pretty much all you see on her, on her head. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, you absolutely are able to move and get out of the way uh, and defend yourself. Uh, all indicators are it's still coming towards you, but very slowly. Um, that brings us to Theo. All right, so Impa no longer underneath? Correct. Okay, 
And it, is it still on the wall at this stage? It is. It is okay. stuck to the wall, but it's coming down it. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. So Theo is going to um, move forward mm -hmm. and... I just need to make sure I can do this on a wall uh, or if it has to be a floor. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm going to say yes. I don't even know what okay. it is. The answer yes. is yes. Okay. So uh, <laughs> he, he is going to move forward and he uh, starts uh, saying, okay, just like you practiced. And he starts moving his hands and then he starts drawing something in the air and you see just this faint magical energy come out and you see like something very similar echo um uh, on the wall and it just kind of looks like a pit and so just right in front of where this thing would theoretically go into its path he casts the snare spell mm -hmm. um and so that means that if um uh, any small medium large creature moves into it uh in the spell's radius uh it's going to have to make a dexterity saving throw uh or what happens uh it is uh left hanging upside down which i guess is a little challenging on the wall but um <laughs> and uh it is restrained until the spell ends which is eight hours you see this thing and like it pseudopods start coming reaching off of it but it does seem to be stuck in place okay hmm? anything else from theo um and uh at this point he starts moving um, moving further away and uh, I, I've got to find somebody that's actually equipped to deal with this <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's going somewhere to find somebody before you go can I high five you <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so, so basically you do it and it's like the whole nine yards throwing the beer can like yeah. you reach up to do it and it looks like he's doing that but actually he was scraping <laughs> something on his uh, robes <laughs> and he continues going past you he's and I, I just I, I switch it to just like fixing my hair <laughs> the, yeah yeah right 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 yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 prep you're you're positioning your your ears out of you know properly. <laughs> uh, Mal, this thing does seem to be rooted in place. It's like reaching and flopping around, but it 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 is stuck there. What would Mal like to do? Mal watches all these spell slingers do all this fancy stuff, or all these students panic and is like, "Oh, look, lunch!" Draws both of his short swords, looks mm -hmm. over at Nico and Theo, and is like. So it's, it's stuck and it's like all lit up. Ah, oh, it's a cut of move. Okay, I got this. And he's going to fly directly towards it and he's going to attack. He roll. <laughs> you'll, and you'll have, have advantage, advantage from fairy fire. The advantage mm -hmm. from fairy fire. Yep. All right. So, ooh, well, that's definitely going to hit. That's a 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. All right. So since I've hit it, I'm going to mark it as my favored foe. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to get a little bit of extra damage on this. So I'm going to do mm -hmm. uh, nine, what is that? Sl piercing, nine piercing damage as I just, wow. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. if I need to, uh, he turns the short sword around, which are, because he's a small creature, they're basically daggers, uh, but they're short swords for him. And then he's going to slice at it with his bonus action. If it's, mm -hmm. is it still moving? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, mm -hmm. I, I, I like my lunch really well done here. So let's let's get into small town. Oh, it's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> second, uh, second attack. Um, uh, if, you, if, if, uh, if well, magic surges, I think that's the fourth one. Uh, if you, you can put them here in our chat right here, if that's all right. Um, yeah. Because a lot of wild magic's happening now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, okay. we're still tracking it down. As soon as we have it, I'll, I'll put it there. Per perfect. No problem. How much damage did you do? Uh, the second sword was a, a seven slashing damage. Seven. Uh, perfect. Yeah. So it comes around with one, slashes with the other. And then from where he's flying, kind of cockily looks around and says, yeah, we got this. Well, we're the adults in the room. I mean, come on. Mal. You stab at it and it with a satisfying squish. However, when you slash at it, it immediately splits in half. And one part of it stays on the wall and the other part reaches out to grab you. Ah, lunch and dinner. Oh no, wait. Ah! Uh, what is what is your AC Mel? 14. I just appreciate right when you we got this. <laughs> right. We've got this. Um it reaches out. Uh, hold on. Let me just double check something real quick here. 
I mean, it's this orange yeah. color. It probably tastes like orange, right? I've never eaten an ooze before. There's not many of them that live o- over in the uh, cage. How many, how many hit points does Mel have? Oh, 10. Perfect. <laughs> um, you see right when Mel says, we got this, we're the adults. <laughs> this thing punches Mel and he plummets out of the sky down to the ground uh, as it hits you for nine points of bludgeoning, but three points of acid. Oh, okay. So yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It, the, this ooze is all over him. Like, we got this. It's fine. <laughs> down to the and ground. I, I hit the ground with a flurry of, of feathers and ooze, still with like that weird owl grin on my face as I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is still very much stuck in place the first one rather is stuck in place but now a second smaller ooze uh has been created that is still very much loose uh the, however that does bring us back to the top because that is all the jelly can do right now so nico this is what you see mal has hit the ground with this ooze <laughs> all over him uh so in the um in all of this confusion and being a little disoriented because school is new and this is new, uh, something weird happens and all of a sudden there's a uh, a swirl of the air and all of a sudden fog cloud just over the whole area. Um, how did that happen? Wow, magic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody? Someone Hello? in the distance just yells, it's a magical place. And I will uh, <laughs> I will move. Let's see what do I want to do here. I got to react to that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Because I, I don't. Well, OK, so would Mal be. I, I guess I could. Should I cast Berry Fire again to find Mal? Or is Mal within the region to... Oh, you know where Mal is. Is Mal still in the cube to be illuminated by fairy fire? So I know where Mal, Mal is. Okay. Um, I'm going to go I, over to Mal to try and protect Mal. The fairy fire is up on the wall with the first jelly that is stuck to the wall. This second right. one is down on the ground. Mm-hmm. But you know okay. where Mal is. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to head over to where Mal is. Mm-hmm. And I will go ahead and cast as a bonus action. I will cast my, I take my quarter staff out mm-hmm. and I will cast Shillelagh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will attack the thing that is trying to attack my new, new friend. Go ahead and roll it. Um, <laughs> you just roll no. a natural 20. There's no, no you can see, you can see it. It's right there. It's amazing. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> And, uh, this this hey, character R- is going to keep us alive for the rest of this campaign. It's amazing. Uh, R- Next Jesus. time, this is going to bounce back on me, and it's going to be. Orange R- R- Jesus is a fickle god, though. Yeah, no, but this is all happening. We're all seeing this internet. This is this is all true. Yes. Yeah, we, I made a screenshot before you close so, out of that tab. 16, <laughs> 16 bludgeoning. That is damage. true. Cl- do screenshot this before you close the tab, especially because it had 15 hit points left. Oh, so nice. You smash down on it with the shillelagh, and it just kind of begins to destabilize and just slides out around Mal like a puzzle puddle that just gently kind of sizzles in the grass uh, as he I, lays It's there. around Mal. I'm going to, can anyone help? We got to, and I'll, uh, are we, we're still in combat. I can't cast anything else. Uh, right well, now. theoretically, it depends if you intend, if you're going to leave the one stuck to the wall, stuck to the wall, you can effectively be out of combat. Uh, yeah. You, what I'm, yeah. what I want to know mm-hmm. is if I can cast your craft to clear the, the air around yes. Mal so someone can find us. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, mere moments later, uh, someone comes running up with a t-shirt that just has RA stamped across the front of it. Uh, <laughs> he is beautiful looking. He has dark brown skin, but his hair is made out of fire and his eyes are made out of fire. And he comes running over and he goes, oh, well, this won't do it all. Um, uh, I can't have someone in my district be killed on day one. Uh, and he unplugs a potion and just lifts Mal's head and pours a greater healing potion, which is very much overkill for the record, Mal. Um, bringing you back to full health completely and kind of spilling out of your mouth. 
Like, um, <laughs> no, live. Yes, no, breathe. Breathe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Are you, are you a power? Oh. I like to think I'm becoming powerful. Yes. Oh, that was amazing. I'm, oh, did I'm, I kill the thing? Did it, yeah, was I awesome? It, yes, very awesome. I saw you plummet from the sky from, and then there was a cloud of fog. I'm not sure what happened after that, but surely you must've killed it. The creature's been destroyed. But there's a, there's a more, there's, it's more. Oh, there's more oh, there. Oh, more. we should cordon off this area, actually. Uh, please proceed inside, students. Uh, I, 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 everyone, everyone, I, I couldn't find anybody. And you see Theo kind of shambling <laughs> up. I, I could not find anyone that was old enough to actually take care of this. Uh, I, I don't know what we should do. What should we do? Uh, we should hang out with this powerful guy right here. We just got no, told. No, no, we, no, we should, should go to orientation. Go yes, yes, no, uh, Mal, he There's... reach out and shakes your hand. He's like, Xanther Bowen, nice to uh, meet you. Yeah, nice to, uh, we gotta hang out more. I owe you like a drink for well, that ah, drink that you just gave no, me. That was just, amazing. Just, just doing my job. I'm glad you're okay. No, but to all of you inside, inside, inside. I'll deal with this. Uh, 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 Mal, you, you know, um, I was going to cast false life on you. You would have been fine. Uh, I just, I, I just didn't have the chance, that's all. No, that, listen, the three of you were amazing. That was, you know, everybody else went running and the three of you like stayed here. And I, I and, went running also. Actually. I mean, well, look, yeah, you like, were able to fly up there. That's pretty cool. Well, it's I got pretty wings. great. That's, you know? that's, that's so, like, yeah. Well, hey, you know, we made a pretty good team. You were looking for an adult. I get that, you know, and you found, you found him. Oh, hey, bye, bye, Xander. I didn't find him. I, I got to become friends with him and his potions. That was amazing. Looking forward to it. Uh, <laughs> are you all making your way inside? I am watching Xander uh, walk I'll, 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 away. Is, like Mal, is, is, Mal, is Mal just like the thirst trapping like that hard? Okay, right, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, also, guy just brought him back to life. Like for the, that's for the record. Not... If you have the Strixhaven book, he's on page fifty nine. He is very beautiful. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking, but yeah, then mm -hmm. eventually I'll follow everybody and I'll find where I probably lost my short swords and be like, okay, well, thanks for your help, everybody. Yeah, that was super cool. But I was cool up there, right? Like slashing at that thing and everything. Sorry about the two of them. Oh, very brave. <laughs> it uh, was. Uh, is you all make your way in here. Um, enchanted marble steps lead up a, a five feet to a small plaza at the biblioplexus entrance. The double doors would have vertical handles or each carved with the likeness of a robed scholar and the doors stand wide open. Uh, this place is incredible. There, there's three stories. The first story has 50 foot ceilings. The second and third both have 30 foot ceilings. So it, it's pretty big. And you notice that there are teleportation circles stationed all over the place and the stairs reconfigure themselves for accessibility. They get bigger, they get smaller, depending who's walking on them. They level out completely to form ramps or lifts to basically make sure that anybody can get anywhere they need to go in this place. As you all are making your way inside, an almost sacrosanct sense of calm descends on you as you step into the Hall of Oracles. Brilliant scholars, says a rich, soothing voice radiating from the hall's central snarl of glowing energy. It's like a column that is uh, floating over a, a glowing pool beneath it. Your attention, please. As you are now Strixhaven University students, this storied biblioplex will be your second home for research, studies, and even leisure. There is just one task to accomplish before you officially embark on your academic journey, a scavenger hunt. And in oh. front of each of you, a piece of paper appears in your hand. <laughs> The rules are simple. Each clue on the list will lead you to a different location in the biblioplex. Simply travel to the area each clue references and perform the action the clue suggests. Time is of the essence. You only have until the end of the day to finish your hunt. Solve as many clues as you can, because at each location you may win a prize. Now, off you go. 
This is so exciting. Alfred must know all the answers. This is going to be so easy. Before I give you the clues, if you have the book, the map is on page 63. Uh, if you don't have the book handy, or you're perhaps watching at home, the areas are the main entrance, the lounge, the student cafe, the information desk, the student store. Um, oh, the cafe. The seating is a different place than the cafe. There's a cafe. The lecture hall, the study area, the book garden, the main stacks, the hall of oracles, the student and alumni art gallery, the amphitheater, the Student Activity Center, the Student Council Hall, the Advanced Student Stacks, we're almost done, it's a very big place, the Student, uh, the Advanced Student Office, the Advanced Student Lounge, and the Compendium. The clues are as follows. You'll forget all about any trouble or plight when you step forward and are ensnarled in light. Okay, so do we think this is like a team challenge or is this we're competing against people? Like, can we work together? What do you think? Oh, that I same voice just hope. says, you it's absolutely can work together. Although when you achieve your individual goals, make sure each of you picks up the clue or does the thing that you will locate there. It'll make more sense when you see it. But yes, working together is encouraged. In fact, I will give you a little hint if you like. Always. Uh, yes, please. yes, please. The answer to the first clue is in this very room. So looking around the room, what do we see? Oh. Hang on. I am going to give you all five clues in this chat right here. So you will have it. There you go. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, here in the Hall of Oracles, it looks like this hallowed hall is filled with statues of the university's past oracles. At the center of the hall, a pulsing ball of magical energy, the Strixhaven Snarl, fills the area with bright light. Hmm. Well, that seems right if we're talking about ensnarled. I don't know, though. Uh, I, I think we should walk into the, the light. fabric or thread. OK. I mean, I already did that once, um, just like a couple well, of minutes if, ago. If so it's going, going to be, be easy. A, if we're going to be a team, though, I suggest that uh, perhaps uh, someone else walk into the light while I observe and make sure that I take proper notes for whatever happens. OK, hey, I'll do it. And I start walking forward. Ooh. I'll follow uh, behind I was about Nico. To say, I, I, I bumped something and muted myself. Nico, be Except, careful. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this properly, but it's kind of like that. I know it's slightly out of focus, but you, you get the idea. Yeah. All right. I'll follow so, behind Nico uh, as, as she's going to go forward first. Caution, Nico. Mm. It, it, it looks dangerous. Yes, Nico, uh, you at three feet tall, uh, this kind of like looms slightly above you. Uh, the rest of you, the, the pool is about you, know, alternatively waist to chest high, your spectrum of sizes here. Uh, but as you get closer to it, what would you like to do? Uh, so there's a, a, a pool, there's, mm -hmm. um, a, so and can you explain what the snarl is? It's that, so, it's a weird, it's a weird thing that they describe because they're all over the place. It's literally that. There's like a ball of energy. That's what's okay. talking to you. You're very aware that the voice is coming from that. Uh, so it's like this column is over the pool of energy and it sort of builds up and just like glows up there like a little sun. So it says basically. I need to step forward and be in snarl with light. I'll step forward as, as close oh, as careful, I can. Careful, Nico, careful. <laughs> uh, I sort Nico. of look back and I wink. <laughs> I keep going forward. You kind of have to scramble up a little bit towards the pool. And when you do, the moment you touch it, you completely lose track of your body, Nico. Just time and space doesn't matter anymore. You I know what are I'm doing? Everywhere. 
you are at the beginning of all things. You're at the end of all things. You know every question and you know every answer. In a split second later, she's just standing behind you guys holding a bottle, a potion. It Dang. looks exactly like the potion that was poured into your mouth, Mal. You all see her walk forward, touch it, and then she's not there. She's over there holding a potion. Dang. What? Magic indeed. So, uh, that happened? Uh, but is that the answer to the, the question? We need, we need to win this scavenger hunt. I mean, I I'm think sure that it's important. We got a, we got a, a prize. I think that he said that we all have to do it, though, in order to move on. Oh, on where do you go? Uh, are, are we sure that that's what actually needs to happen? I mean, it's, uh, what if I slip when I'm climbing up on top of that? I mean, it looks very dangerous up there. Well, well then let's, let's find out, and I will fly forward directly into the light. You have, the moment you touch the water, you have the exact same experience of, of infinity. For you, it is flavored slightly different. It is almost like all the doors of Sigil opened at once and you were somehow able to walk through them all at once. And as your mind is struggling to comprehend it, you're at the other side of the room holding a potion. Whoa. It's still a small pretty, sample pretty cool, size. Right? I'm, not, I'm not certain that that's what actually needs to happen. It's, it's it's all right, Theo. Why don't we go together? I I, I don't know. Per, perhaps I don't need to win that badly. I mean, I can I can just cheer all of you on. Theo, we all have to do it. So you have to do it. You want me to do it for you? I'll go again. That was amazing. It's pretty cool. I mean, Theo, you so Theo. You like the knowledge, right? There's this really amazing thing that happens when you just kind of are and uh, know. Very well. I, I, Impa, will, will you go with me? Yes, yes, I suppose I can. <laughs> I'll take his when, hand and walk him through. Uh, in, in the interest of trying to make this uh, maximally complicated, I'm attempting to, well, I can't send it to you. That's weird. I'm trying to send you the map to our other chat and it's not cooperating. So here, we're going to do this because I don't expect you to keep everything I just told it, you in your head. Is it the Bibliopac? Plex? Yeah. I have, oh, yeah. I have, I can send it. I have a, Perfect. a PDF of it. Excellent. Yes, it's that. Um, the moment that you both touch the water, you experience two different things. Impa, you witness teeming untold spirits, the same that you've been seeing since you were a little loxodon, and they go off into the distance. You see animals, creatures, gnomes, dwarves, elves, loxodon, things that probably were never incarnated, and you realize they're all just so happy that you can see them, and then you're back. Theo... You see exactly what you did not want to see. He, you see exactly. He absolutely lets out a yelp first, though, like as soon yeah. as he walks through. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You see exactly what you did not want to see. But, Theo, as your mind is moving across space and time, you realize there may actually be hope for you yet. And you're back again. All of you appear at the other side of the room, each of you holding a healing potion. I look over at Nico. You want to go again? Can we? So no, you know, look, find look, out, there's right? more to do. I want to see the next yeah. thing. We did it once. We can always come back. Let's go do something else. The sacrifice that was made needs to be rewarded. We should move on to try to win the contest. Okay. All yeah, right, that. All right. Well, I'm definitely coming back okay. here to do that again. Who's, that was uh, who's, who's next? Your sec well, I'm going to read the other four clues because you don't necessarily have to do them in the order that I give, especially if I say something and you're like, oh, that's probably this thing. So, so, so Nico is actually going to, I'm going to, can we say I have the second clue? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You all have the sheet so, of paper. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Nico is going to sort of, uh, here, this is what they gave me and, and show it to, uh, to Theo. Yeah, you all you all have Theo, the, you wanna uh, you wanna read this one out 
and uh, the, uh, just uh, uh, oh. Nico is yeah. Alumni commission works when they retire, seeking promising mages to inspire. <gasps> My robes. <laughs> My robes should probably inspire. Couldn't my robes do it? I worked so hard on them. I mean, they are kind of swanky, but uh, are we supposed to bring your commission. robes somewhere? I, you I see, don't... when you mentioned commission, that your robes the Commission are... is like a group of people, right? They sit down and they talk about things and they, they come up with different ideas. They commission, it's a commission, yeah? Is there some sort of uh, some place with like, I don't know. Uh... Again, I will lay it all on you. The alumni commission works when they retire, seeking promising mages to inspire. Everybody got the map, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, right, yeah. great, great. Mm -hmm. I will, the only other uh, hint I will, the, the answer to all five of these is in the Biblioplex. It just so happens that one was in that room. So you don't have to go anywhere else in Strixhaven. Well, uh, do they mean retire like um, they're going to go to sleep or retire like they're not going to work anymore? Like I know a couple of people who got old enough that, that they just Probably stopped. retired, yeah. Yeah, like they, and then you can retire and retire. You could be not working and sleeping and like that's doubly retired. And that's pretty like, I aim to get to that point. You could just be like not working and sleeping at the same time. Oh, that'd be amazing. Is there a place where you could do either of those things? Or both of those things? Impa, Any beds around to, here? Is Impa about to say something? It was confusing. Impa has the, the map, but I don't, mm -hmm. it doesn't have like the what is what. Oh, does it not? Yeah, it just yeah, says it, like it, B7. B11, you kind of you need the whole key for that oh, okay mm -hmm. unfortunately um uh, let me see if i can get that here oh actually wait i'm uh oh no it's still the, the player version doesn't say um hmm okay um let me see. i can write up the list of what the places are if you want if you give me a second yes okay i'll give me give me a minute and i'll get them in chat as quickly so, as i can yeah co-mission mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. from the root co which means with or together and mission which means to send so it is sending together and then retire re from the root of to do again and tire to uh be uh, uh to withdraw uh and and so um Perhaps we should uh, go to where uh, they are sending or withdrawing. I'm sure that's very helpful. Um... All right. Well, I, I got, I got, I found a guy, and I picked his pocket, and I got the list here of like all the places that are here in the biblioplex. So we got main stacks, hall of oracles, student alumni art gallery. Ooh, ah, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, amphitheater, student activities. Wait, you said alumni? Student alumni? Didn't the yeah. thing say? Didn't the uh, thing say alumni? Yeah, student and alumni. Does that, art does that make sense? Uh, alumni commission works when they oh, like you do that commission thing with artists, like you can be a Patreon. Oh, not like a not like a commission of people, but like a a, a spending of the. Huh. I mean, we could. Is there is there other stuff that would be is there another alumni thing uh, or student council hall advanced student stacks advanced student office advanced student lounge the compendium uh, and that's it no it's the only thing that has like an, an alumni on it alumni I mean, which is plural of the singular alumnus which means someone who has attended the school before and art which means art so we should go check out the art. What? the art what yeah. is the art the like paintings and sculptures and oh the things. art i i see i see yeah that too okay come on um uh, and i'll i'll start heading for the students and alumni art gallery i will follow after you when you enter into the student and alumni art gallery it 
This crisp looking room features white walls and columns that stretch from floor to ceiling. Displayed on or within, these are art pieces representative of various media. Uh, students from the Prismari College typically tend to this space and there's three Prismari pledge mages. They can be found here most days, either cleaning the gallery or studying the techniques that are used and displayed in the pieces. Um, you absolutely see paintings of multiple people that are dressed just like Theo and his robes. Actually, Theo, give me, let's see. You worked very hard on this, but give me, I'll let you decide if you want to give me performance or survival to simulate how you made this, but you can roll with advantage because you worked on this for a long time. That's excellent. So yeah. um, it is six of one and half a dozen of another. So I shall choose performance. <laughs> All right. And we are rolling with advantage and that is not great. Um, so it is a very proud 11. Uh they're serviceable. You, you, you're, you're basically like a, an underfunded cosplayer, uh, but, it, but it's clear what you were after. It's clear what you were after, especially now that you all can see the paintings. It's like, oh, he was, oh, that's the, that's the thing he's doing. Ah, right. Theo, Are you not look inspired? Uh, super, super. I'll fluff out your mane a little bit more, just a little bit, just like a, yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. Now you're a work of art. All of you give me perception checks. Hey, uh, 23. Oh, nice. 10. Uh, it's the, it, it, I was about to, if, if you were like natural 20, I was done here for the night. I was like, <laughs> we're done, we're done. We're done rolling for things. So it's, no. it's all narrative from here on out. Not uh, quite. Mel, one thing you know how to do is case a joint. Uh, and as you're looking at these, all of these old distinguished people, some of them are wearing the Prismari College robe colors in particular. And underneath each one of those paintings, there are little plaques that say, it's Strixhaven, we were all inspired. And there's a little lever next to it. Uh, so yeah, Theo fluffs out his mane and I take him in and then I take in the rest of the joint. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's good. No, you'll look like a that's that's a proper sculpture thing that we should do later. Also, anyone else see the levers? And I just pull one. When you do, a little box pops out and opens, and there is a pendant inside. Oh, Ooh. hey. What was that? Uh, I think it was the thing. You you inspired me so much. I saw the see, see how like that one, that one, that one, they've got like the Prismari people. Uh, oh yeah, they do the art. Yeah, that's that's yeah. A, the thing I, I want to do. Yeah, I want to try. And I run up and I pull a lever. Mel, before we resolve this oh, with Nico, sorry. do you do you take the uh pen? Do you take the pen out of the box? Yeah. When you pick it up, it glows. You notice when you move it, it glows. Like if you stop, it stops, and if you move it, it glows. I will juggle this thing. <laughs> I'm just like, mm -hmm. like um, that thing where you can, uh, it's, it's a small pendant. It's a big mm -hmm. pendant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, again, you all are a variety of sizes. So it's like yay sized, which varies from the size of a quarter to the size of a dinner plate for some of you. Does, yeah. um, okay. does Impa maybe like recognize this through her studies in history or arcana? Yes, it is. Uh, it is a Strixhaven pennant. Uh, they're fairly common. Um, a, a lot of times when you join a college, you get assigned one. Nico, sure enough, you pull the lever, a box pops out, the exact same thing happens. But what both of you notice is when you remove the pennant, the box in the lever disappear. Like it exists, you take it and it ceases to exist. Uh, that's destruction of property. I, we probably <laughs> should not be doing this. I mean, Do we want it, to get kicked out before we even start? It, le it left me this cool thing. Look at this. And I'm just, I'm doing the thing where I roll coins over my knuckles to keep it moving. So it's constantly glowing. I'm just like, ah, mm -hmm. this is super cool. Ah, now you should get one of your own. Yep. It gives bright light for 10 feet and dim light for another 10 feet. So it's not, not an insignificant source of light. Mm -hmm. Nico, presumably you do take yours as well, yes. correct? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Impa, did you get the same one I got? I was holding it up to you. I suppose they can't kick us out on the first oh, day. Oh, oh I'm Nico. Yeah, yeah no, I was amping, I was asking Impa, because, you know, did you get the same one I got? Did yes. any of you get the same one I got, right? They all I'm the, the only one who's gotten one. Impa, oh, I thought everybody got one. Do it? Are we going to go through this at every place? I don't know what that means. I mean, we can't just come here and start destroying things in the school. I, they're telling us to. I'm here on scholarship. <laughs> scholarship? What's that? Well, it look is... who's fancy. Uh, this is I my brother, know. Theo. Have you been around him for five minutes? Because they'll tell you you're, that he's on scholarship. Uh, exactly. Scholarship. And <laughs> Imp- Impa, are you going to pull a lever? Yes. Exact same thing. Box pops out, pendant inside. Theo, you know you want one. <sighs> Very well. I suppose if, if all of you are doing it, perhaps they will kick you out of school before they get to me, and then I can apologize profusely, and perhaps I won't lose my scholarship. Nico. One mm-hmm. of those Prismari mages that uh, is in here walks by and just sort of like bumps into you and goes, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm t- oh, <clears throat> oh, 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 no, no, no I'm, not I'm, a problem. I'm, 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 I'm dreadfully allergic to rabbits. I, oh, 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 dear. Oh. Uh, and he oh. very much uh, begins to get violently ill as your wild magic surge has poisoned a nearby creature. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, you should go to the infirmary. So uh, my, my throat. I deserve, like, I'm just, uh, like we, we're all allowed to go to school here. Yeah, and you see, should go the, get some medicine or something to deal with that. That's a that's a you problem. Two of the others come running in and are like, "We should take him to the infirmary." Apologies. That's what I just said. Yeah, that's a that's a good plan. Um, um, um. Nico, don't worry. Alfred says that this sort of stuff happens all the time, and you're not going to get in trouble. Wait, if okay. you get in trouble, they know that you are my sibling, and it could reflect poorly upon me. On your scholarship. Right. Mm. Listen, listen, if they kick you out, I'll just help you sneak back in. It'll be fine. Yeah. There I you go. We have a plan now. Never. Theo, are you going to pull the lever? Same thing, box pops out, pendant inside. And it lights up when you pick it up like everyone else's and the box vanishes. Um, property. So I suppose that we've solved this one and we can move on to the second one, yeah? Yeah, what's, oh, uh, what's solved next? you two already. Mm. Mm-hmm. You, you touched the water in the first one. Uh, I will read the other three clues here. Each group deserves a free treat for their investment. Serve up this list and enjoy your refreshment. Clue number four is these leafy beds aren't always what they seem. Give them a pet and see what you glean. And five is some stars are ancient, enduring, and bright, but others, maybe you, are born on opening night. Oh, we should go to the student cafe. That's what Alfred says. You can get lovely food. Sounds good to me. I'm a snack. Sounds great. Yeah, I mean, we already had a fight, and then we got Nico's um, already running off. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) you know, it's a good thing you got that pink streak in your head. It's easy to like keep track of you and everything. Come on, come on. You all are heading to the cafe. Yes. All right. The. See, this is great because the description of the place is in one place, but the description of the puzzle is in a different place. Aww. So, uh, One wall of this area is covered with a mural made from living tree roots, which move occasionally and make the entire place feel alive. The ceiling is covered in painted leaves, which change colors depending on the season, thanks to a permanent illusion effect. The magic also prompts painted squirrels to run up and down the mural's roots and painted birds to chirp among the leaves. There's about... 10 students um, that are in here um, lounging around and enjoying things um, in a 
kindly looking gnomish woman just sort of like waves politely at you as you walk in. And she just hey. says, oh, have, have a seat. I'll, I'll be right with you. I'm very shorthanded today. I'm so, I apologize oh. for the wait. Uh, do you need, you, you need some help? She looks at you for a second and she says, eh, actually, I, actually, I, I could use a spot of help. Yes, I could. What you if got? you don't mind. She just motions yes, over. That, that, that's why we're over. here, is to help. Um, she is. You, she motions behind the counter, and you see she's got uh, four bags that are sitting on the floor, but you can tell each of them looks like it is basically like overflowing with things, like more things are coming out of the bag than the bag should be able to hold. And she says, I... I just need some help at restocking the shelves, really. I, I just can't get a moment to myself because I keep having to stop to help the students and then I have to serve and then I have to prepare all the food. And it's just been just a nightmare. If any of you could help me, I'd be oh so grateful. Yeah, sure. Uh, what goes where? I honestly hey. don't know if we have time for this with the contest. <laughs> she needs help. We're Each. here, we can help. Each of you give me a dexterity check. Um, Impa has not followed save the crowd or regular here. Check? Okay, Impa, Impa has uh -oh. uh, 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 not saved check. Uh, and yes, Impa, what is Impa doing? Impa is checking out, you said that there's this wall with mm -hmm. leaves and things. She's going to use her nose and kind of sniff it out and or her trunk. And she's going to be, Alfred, does this seem weird to you? And so she's just I examining that. And uh, perfect. Um, yeah, yes, Mel. I did have actually a question about that too. You said that there were squirrels running. The squirrels are painted. They are painted oh. running up and down it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The, the tree is real. The squirrels are painted. Okay. Yep. Then, then mm -hmm. all Mal will say is, uh, "I wonder how painted squirrels taste." Oh, I'll find out later. And then I'll do the check. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, Nico, Dex check. May I use guidance? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this game. Rating twenty. This game. Another one. I just got a natural twenty. I'm a dex check for twenty three. <laughs> It's just like, it, it is absolutely effortless how quickly you put all of these things back together, Mal. It's like you're ba balancing one on an elbow, just kind of like bump it and it falls into place, you know, just sort of like head, bonk one with your head and everything just sort of lands where it's supposed to. And she sort of like looks at it for a second and she just says, my goodness, that." That is the most effective uh, assistance I have gotten anywhere all day. Um, well, uh, yes, you passed the scavenger hunt. You were supposed to find me and help me. But um, if, if you don't mind, um, she reaches behind the bar and she pulls out two bottles and she slides one to Mal and she slides one to Nico. And it's very warm when you touch it. She goes, oh. Try it. Try it. Try it. I open it up and I give it a give it a sniff. It smells like coffee. Oh, nice warm I, coffee. Fantastic. <laughs> Take a sip. Nico, as you knock it back, it doesn't stop. Oh. oh. You keep drinking coffee. <laughs> coffee keeps coming. <laughs> she goes, oh, go slow. You you won't sleep till next right, semester. Let's go. What's next? <laughs> We got an amped up Aaron gone now. Yes, she has given- Nico's just kind of bouncing. She's given you both a bottle of boundless coffee. <laughs> uh, Impa. Best thing ever of all time. So uh, good. I want one. I'm not often deeply envious of D&D items, but <laughs> a bottle that never runs out of coffee uh, is pretty high. I mean, it's, 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 I'd, I'd get a lot more use out of that than a Vorpal Sword. I'm just saying, I just. I thought the alchemy there. jug was amazing. I, was I really better. hope you get more use out of it than a Vorpal Sword. <laughs> hey, but when you need a Vorpal Sword, you <laughs> need true. a Vorpal Sword. True. Snicker right. snack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Impa, 
you smell just um actually roll a d6 for me <clears throat> it's a one uh, i'm not gonna lie i don't know what this is uh, you smell uh, the sandwich of the day is grilled halloumi with morals on wheat. Halloumi is a type of cheese. Halloumi is a type of cheese. Made <laughs> now who's that? That's that's that that's that uh, scholarship. Uh, and and, and morals are mushrooms. They're they're, they're 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 a type of mushrooms that you can have. They're, they go really really well with cheese. Halloumi is known as the grilling cheese. You can put it onto something and actually grill it, and it will not lose its composure. That sounds delicious. It is Actually, that sounds kind of incredible. Yes. Take it to go. Yeah, no, that <laughs> sounds amazing. The two of you like chefs when you're not doing awesome magic. I things? just know an awful lot about cheeses. E, e, Aisla Fitzbottom is this woman's name. And she says, I think the least I could do is uh, at least uh, make some to-go boxes for you. I know you're in a hurry. And she does wrap up grilled cheeses for all of you. That's a real fancy way of saying grilled cheese, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's real high quality grilled cheese uh, and an endless supply cheese. of coffee. Yes. I mean, this is a really nice school to go to. I don't know what to tell you. Right. <laughs> uh, perfect. Clue number three. Or four, four, rather. That was number oh. three. These leafy beds aren't always what they seem. Give them a pat and see what you glean. Real quick before we leave the mm -hmm. coffee shop. Um, mm -hmm. So did Impa and Theo get a chance to help out at all, or were they examining uh, the thing? Am, am I you, qualified for the contest still? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you still get full credit for having completed the scavenger hunt. This so, is the one, I'll tell you a hint, this is the one that most people miss because they don't think to assist me. Thank you, Nico. That was our well, first thought. Well, it was her first thought, young man, but yes. We're, we're a team. There is no, there is no. <laughs> oh, now we're a team. team. <laughs> right. I say as Nico is gravitating. That's my vibrating, big brother. Vibrating across space and time again. <laughs> boing, like boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, See, okay, next one, next one. Let's yes, go, let's go. Yes. Um, Alfred says that we should check the garden, the book garden. The Books book don't grow on trees. Books are made of trees. Books are trees. Books are trees, yes. These leafy beds are aren't what they seem. Give them a pat and see what they gleam. I mean, leafy does it not sound like a garden. No, it sounds right. It sounds right. Just strange, strange things. Did are there book trees here? Maybe there are book trees here. Well, let's go when, find out. When you get to the book garden in these quiet areas, students sit on the grass and study among lush foliage. Sometime last year, uh, oh, hang on, let me not tell you this. Um, <laughs> right. I'm like, sometime last year, vital exposition happened, right? Mm -hmm. um, is you uh, all come into this lush, you're Arboretum. thinking outside the box. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, uh, you all come to this lush arboretum. Um, Impa, do give me another perception check. Is Actually, this... you could all give me perception, but Impa can give me with a uh, advantage. Okay. <laughs> Great. This is insane. This game log, like everybody needs to save this game log because I just rolled a 20 there too. Hey! Please save that it. That means Please. we've all rolled 20s today. I know. That's, that's a good sign for an episode one. That's a this good sign for an episode one. Um, Theo, uh, I'm going to give it to you straight. As you walk in and you see all these beautiful plants and people are laying around, you feel like three of these shrubs are looking at you, like they're aware of you somehow. And each of them has like a crown of leaves across the top of it. They're plants, they don't have faces, but it's looking at you. You're certain of this, Theo. Um, I do not wish to alarm anyone. And um, I am trying to keep the shakiness out of my voice but I believe that the bushes are observing us. And then I you say that, look. you say Theo kind of like <laughs> steps back a little bit. I yeah, want to take a look and see if anything about these plants seems strange. Do you can give me a survival check. Um, Mal, while he's talking and you 
are sort of taking all of this in. Maybe these bizarre natural surroundings are playing tricks on your owl in nature. You just leave the ground and start floating. Your wings don't extend. You just rise into the air. Al is in the process of like grabbing one of his short swords when he hears that the bushes are looking at us. <laughs> he's, we've been spied upon. It's another one of those, no one of those oozes. I mean, I never got a chance to actually get what, wait, wait, what, 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 what? <laughs> and he panics because I don't think he knows what it's like to fly without wings. And his feet start doing that grabby thing that claws do. It's like, ah, 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 how high up are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, Impa yeah. just you uses her trunk and kind of oh, like yeah. holds Impa, you in place. Impa easily, yeah. easily can hold him right there. It's, he just sort of levitates. His wild magic takes hold. Yes, <laughs> easily. Nico, while this is happening and you're looking at these bushes, they do move. When Mal starts floating, they are like so in tilt up, like they're looking to at him. Pat them is the clue. I walk mm -hmm. over and I go, hello, my friends. Oh, be careful, be careful. And, and I'm, have I'm patting, patting the leaves and sort of like petting them, just random <laughs> leaves. <laughs> uh, do not touch and strange bushes. It's okay, she is a druid, that is what she does. I never said that I was a druid, what are you talking about? I am very smart. The and, but don't let go, I'm still, I'm yeah. like right, ballooning right, over right, there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, the okay. moment you pet it, um, a little toy comes rolling out the bottom that looks like oh. a fluffy little dragon. What? Oh, it's so cute. It is incredibly cute. Do you pick it up? Yes. Nico, when you pick it up and you kind of hold it, it feels like it feels when you were a little Haragon clutching your teddy bear for comfort. You oh. just feel safe and brave when you hold on to it the best this is the best everybody this is the, i thought the coffee was the best this might be the best <laughs> you don't even know what that is uh you need to be does it cautious. matter you do not need Doesn't to matter. pick up strange creatures nico also it is a <laughs> cuddly strixhaven mascot and you also oh. figure out if you put it somewhere it will stay there like if you want it to sit on your shoulder it will if you put it just stick it right on your chest it will it just wherever you put it it remains and just feels I think I put good. it right between my ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's 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 about like yeah, it would easily sit between your ears, hundred percent. Impa, and I've I've now uh, we've been holding on to each other, and now I'm just kind of used to this weird levitating thing, and so I've crawled down your arm, <laughs> and I'm now just grabbed onto some of your clothes, and I'll whisper in your ear, "Oh, go pet a bush, go go pet a bush." I'll just hold on, go pet a bush. Right, okay, okay, I'll go. Go touch a bush. I mean, Theo, here, you, feel brave while you do this. And I hand, uh, I, I, have, I take it off of my head and I hand it to Theo. I don't, I don't want to touch I put that. it on I his shoulder. Honestly, when it sticks to you, Theo, you do just feel safe. Again, just like a kid getting comforted by a teddy bear, but it just feels that way. Like this isn't so scary anymore. Theo, go pat the shrubs. Yeah, okay, okay. Don't, don't pressure me. And I just walk immediately over. Pat sure enough, each of them, when each of you does it, uh, one falls out for you at the bottom and you hear a voice say, ah, well done, friends. Sorry, we didn't say anything sooner. We didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Oh, my stars and oh, Who are you? I'm, I'm Nico Flox. This is my big brother, Theo Flox. This is my friend, Mal. This is my friend, Impa. Um, Impa's friend is Alfred. I don't know. where Where's Alfred right now? Is he, th is, is he there? No, no, he's going to be there because whenever I say he's there, it's, you say, no, he's there. That's right, well, that's right. friends, we're used to people looking right past us, so that is okay. Uh, hello, Alfred. Hello, Impa. Hello, Mal. Hello, Theo. Hello, Nico. Nico, maybe switch to decaf, but okay. Hey, that was really good thinking, finding your way here. It was all Alfred. Sorry, we were kind of cheating. But, I, but you're, we're I mean, not cheating. Well, no, 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 absolutely me, I mean, not. But, you know, we, 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 have, we, have a, we have a duty to disclose, you know. Everything is completely un, you know, above board. There is no uh, one named Alfred. Uh, hmm. You can check and see. There's no one named Alfred in this room with us. Uh, I'm not picking up any Alfreds, but you know that's uh, that that is. Uh, I believe you know, this uh, this large loxodon 
perhaps needs to seek some help in the infirmary. Well, no. you know, uh, people don't know that you wouldn't think it, but uh, we awaken shrubs are party animals and all. But, you know, there's some things you just shouldn't joke about there. Uh, young lady. It's a uh, yeah, absolutely. Pour it on my Come on, give it to me. Yeah, no, a little bit. No, give it to me here. Right, there you go. I start oh, to pour. Yeah. And the bush starts to like vibrate slightly. <laughs> Impa, it's really good. Impa, if it's OK with you, I have now uh, moved to your back and I'm going to whisper into your ear. Oh, tell tell him tell him you named the the dragon Alfred, and then no one's gonna no one's gonna know, right? Eh? Oh, all right. I suppose I can do that to keep us out of trouble. Um, yes, this is Alfred. This is what I meant. It's Alfred. Ah, that makes total sense. Then that makes total sense. I apologize. You know, it, it, sometimes we're a little slow on the uptake with humor, um, lacking a Sarah, you know, actual brains as such as it is. Um, the 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 nature of our existence is a wonder even to us, which we discuss at length because although we are conscious, uh, we are mobile. Um, however, I think you all may want to continue on uh, if you're going to have a chance of completing this in the time. Yeah, we should go. We should go. Got. We should go right now. Tick tock. We should we should win. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Some stars are ancient, enduring, and bright. For others, maybe you are born on opening night. Yes, I am a Luxor and I have a perfect memory. Stars Thank outside? You. Outside? Maybe the moon? We could see the moon. The amphitheater? Oh. Maybe? Well, is that outside? Star? You're you're born on opening night. Opening night, like a like a show. Is it one of those outdoor amphitheaters or like a like an indoor theater, like a th th theater? Well, you're saying to... like a like a like a star, like a star, like a like a you you're a star. Yeah, you like not, you're not a star. like a, not like a star, but like a star. Yes, I, I do so. that same thing, but I'm still holding on to Impa. So for a moment, she just yeah, looks right. like she's got mm -hmm. wings on her back. <laughs> and then like, Impa, that's a really good look for you. I like it with the wings and the. With the wings and the ears, it's a fantastic. Hmm. Uh, uh, so what, what okay, so I say let's go, and I'm <laughs> charging off. I mean, hair and gun are fast in the best of times, and so now you especially are like... Uh, the amphitheater, this impressive stage is used for lectures, for assemblies, and as a gathering place in case of emergencies. Magic steps lead up to the stage from the floor to the library. Members of the play acting drama guild often use this stage to meet and rehearse when the road stage on Silver Quill's campus is unavailable. Uh, right now, um, well, I'm, uh, we're going to skip that. <laughs> I'm like, you come in here and it's on fire. No, it's not on fire. It's just not <laughs> at all on fire. Um, when you all come in, it is an impressively lavish stage with the curtains drawn back as if to reveal performers on the opening night of a major production. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, um, right. Um, okay. Alfred, you're not allowed to help us on this one. So shh. All right, you almost got us in trouble. And by that, I mean, I almost got us in trouble. Or, or Alfred, yeah, like, you're totally welcome to, to help us. You just gotta, we just gotta be looking at the dragon, right? Eh? Eh? I mean, he's just part of the right. team, right? Let's think, let's think. Uh, born on opening night, opening night. Um, uh, uh, something, we should go to the stage, probably. When I the mean, curtains I'll... open on opening How far away night. are we from the stage? I mean, you, well, you can easily walk up to it. I don't even walk, I jump. <laughs> right? You leap onto the stage, is that presumably everyone else is making their way that direction. Is Theo making his way onto the stage? Theo is making his way to the foot of the stage. <laughs> I, I, I do not believe that we should be up there. The, the signs say there's keep no audience. off stage. It, it doesn't matter. The, the signs the, the say sign keep off the stage. I would like to steal the signs when <laughs> when Theo you. isn't looking. I would like to just go on over there and be like, "Yo, I see what you're trying to do." And I go, "Hey, Theo, did you see that over mm. there? There's a there's some um, carving or something. Mm. You should take a look. Maybe it's old. Maybe you know something." <laughs> you can you can give me uh, a sleight of hand with advantage, um, Mal. I would love to. That would be a twenty-two. It's like there were no signs. Uh. Theo, uh, I, I think you misread the sign. Uh, they I, took I it down. Swore. I, I thought that I saw. Hey, uh, Impa, you did say that you had a perfect memory. Do you remember seeing those signs? Uh, and she's going to like look for a cue because she can't, she, you know, she, 
Uh, and and uh, I'm and behind you, I'm just like, oh, I don't remember there being a sign. Right. Um, sign? What sign? No sign. My ah. memory says there was no sign. Uh, very well, well. you seem come. very trustworthy after knowing you for about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, come you, up on stage. Maybe I mean, maybe we're wrong. Maybe you'll see the sign from up here. They are very I mean, you are taller than I am, so maybe you can see it from a different angle than we can, so. All right. You will he does get up follow on- to the stage, yes, eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all get up on the stage. Uh, it would be alternatively thrilling or terrifying if there were a full audience here, but uh, right now it's just quiet as the four of you are standing there. All right. If I would hide something. Did we win? Did you know that stages were usually raked on something around a 15 degree angle that would, it, it, because it, it gives the elevation. So if the sight lines are the... I start going into the actual angles of of why stages were raked. <laughs> Fascinating. Um, do we think maybe a trap door or something? Let's see. Let's well, see. remember the clue was some stars are ancient, enduring, and bright, but others, maybe you, are born on opening night. Do we have to put on a show? When I remembered that, it seems like the word you was emphasized. Um, Mal is going to immediately walk to center stage because he's been kind of thinking about this the whole time. And he's going to stand there and be like, yeah, I could do this. Yeah. Everyone's here to see see me, right? Malinky Kamenik, right? You can just hear the audience right now. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I start casting prestidigitate from the root word and, and you... <laughs> You hear like a little bit of like applause. Uh, it, it is nowhere near as impressive as hopefully it will be one day. But um, press the digitation, some sounds uh, out there. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is what I want to do. This is why I came here. This is why I was going to do this thing. To be doing this, right? I mean, when there's like an actual audience. But ah, uh, this is worth what, it. What kind of show is Mal putting on? Um, he's pulled back out the glowing pendant. Mm -hmm. um and he's starting to he's flicking it between his fingers again so it starts to glow and then he'll flick it into the air and catch it and flick it into the air and it's not incredibly (laughs) impressive but in his head he's Mm -hmm. thinking about like 20 of them up in the air all at the same time the moment you start performing a spotlight comes on (laughs) right on you illuminating you while you're performing and his backs up his feathers fluff out a little bit more and he starts throwing the thing higher and he's juggling for all he's worth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are the rest of you doing while this is happening? Yeah, come well, join me, join pretty... me, join me. Uh, sure. And I start trying to 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 imaginary juggle my pendant. Uh, picture, picture where it is, not what it's going to be. I, yes, I, I, I think I can do one better. Uh, I... I reach into, actually, I have a bracelet on. I take off a piece of the the wood and it's, um, Mm -hmm. it's actually, there's a seed like in the pattern and I sort of crumble it and it starts to sprout into a vine and it sort of spirals out and the leaves grow um, in that Fibonacci pattern and uh, it forms almost like a piece of scenery the moment you start performing as well, a light comes on Nico as well. One on Mal, now one on Nico. Huh. What's Impa gonna do? Impa's shyly sitting, like standing in the back, like, oh, I didn't, they didn't say I'd have to perform at this school. I, 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 I don't have any talents. I don't know how to do anything. Impa, oh, you that? Would- yeah, I mean, you know lots of stuff. Tell me, tell me about like the last spirit that you talked to. Spirit, spirits. Yes, yes, the spirits can be my talent. Quick, Alfred, do the thing. Do the thing that we practiced. Yes, yes. And you just see as as Impa kind of claps her hands like this that you see for just a second uh, this apparition of like a blue silhouette of a of a person and this yellow like translucent gong and you just hear a 
gong, as she casts Toll the Dead out to the audience. Same thing. <laughs> the light comes on right over you. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to know where to rent a gong from. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has one but Theo. Oh, Theo, you, come on, you know a poem. Don't try and tell me you don't know a poem. <laughs> he walks forward and he says, It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily have I don't have much money, but, but if I did, I'd buy a big house and give up my scholarship. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a very big, very bright light appears on Theo and starts to rotate slowly while he's singing it's there and sparkles come down from the rafters. And it's of a lime color, because it is the limelight. <laughs> well, so citrusy. The, the joyous and energetic atmosphere on the first floor is suddenly shattered by panic shouting. That that trunk! A young elf screams. It point as she runs by, pointing back towards the stacks. That that trunk has teeth! Please, anyone, stop it! What are you saying hey, about my friend Impa? Does your trunk have Ch teeth? Oh, I, don't, I don't think so. Chaos erupts in the library as students scream and stream out in all directions, their books and papers flying as they, sh as they shout in fear. The only faculty mages in sight are trying to deal with the panicked students. You can't just let some monster run free on the first day of class and ruin everything. It is time once again to step up and also a good place for us to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we win? <laughs> yes, you absolutely won, but we'll resolve that after. But yes, you, you did win. I mean, but we I, won after we got the bottle of boundless coffee, let's be honest. That is true. You could have retired and gone home for the Make rest of the Make that sweet so. tea and you're on. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We will not be that caffeinated throughout the entire campaign. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a valid life choice. It does mm -hmm. say a bottle of bottomless coffee. Uh, well, again, what I didn't say at the top is this is actually a really great, pretty comprehensive campaign, and there is no way that I can do all of it justice. So I guess you could be saying you'll be getting the Cliff's Notes. Of oh. <laughs> wow, I see what you did there. All right, thank you so much for joining us this evening for part one of our eight part mini series here that we are calling Strict Save and Chaos because it's us and chaos is going to have to be involved. So we hope that you join us each week. If for whatever reason you have to miss an episode, it will be on our Demiplane YouTube channel a few days later. You can catch the VODs there. And if you have to catch up on the full series, it will live there uh, for forever and ever. So you can catch up whenever you get a chance. Again, thanks so much. We will see you here next week. Later, Gators. <laughs>